A projectile is fired from the ground level with a velocity of 500 meters per second, 30 degrees to the horizontal. Find the horizontal range. I like to summarize my questions with a diagram. This is the projectile they're talking about. It's fired from the ground level. The initial velocity here, our value of u, is 500 meters per second. 500 meters per second and the angle here is 30 degrees. All this is to the horizontal, find the horizontal range. So one, they want us to find the horizontal range. Again, formula for horizontal range are, I'm now answering Roman one. Formula for horizontal range is given by u squared sine two, three, two divide all that by g. We derived these formulas in our previous sessions. Our u squared is 500 squared. Multiply that by the sine of 2 times the angle, which is 30. Divide that by 9.81. It is that simple. So this gives us... And that's it. That's our... Roman 1, that's the horizontal range. So Roman 2, they tell us to find the greatest height to which it rises. Again, to find the greatest height to which it rises. Roman 2, we derive the formula for this. Formula for greatest height, which is capital H, is given by... That's the formula for the greatest height reached. We derived this formula in our previous sessions. This is going to be given by u squared, which is 30 squared times sine squared times the angle theta, which is 30. Divide that by 2g, which same as is 2 times 9.81. And this is going to become, and that is our Roman 2. The greatest height reached is 3,185 meters. Moving on to Roman 3 find the least speed with which it could be projected in order to achieve the same horizontal range. So the question is asking for the least speed it should take for it to be able to reach, uh, you know, the same horizontal range. Now they're talking about horizontal range. And uh, the horizontal range we have achieved here is uh, this right there. So they are, the, in other words, the question is asking what least speed, in other words, what is, what value of u the least value of u that we can attain, we, we, we can have to get the same value of r. In, in other words, we're playing around with this right here. Let me re-quote this formula. We are talking about range here. We know that our value of range is given by u squared sine 2 theta, divide that by g. The question says, find the least speed, find the least value of u, you know, the least speed. Find the least speed with which it could be projected in order to achieve the same horizontal range. The same horizontal range, in other words, the same value of r. Let's make you the subject of this formula because we want to find this, the least value of this. So when we make you the subject of the formula, um, here it becomes our value of u becomes g times r divide that by sine to theta this is u squared yeah like that so we need to find the least value of u when you look at this expression for me to be able to get the least value of u it means that my denominator has to be a maximum figure. You know, this must be as it, at its very maximum. For me to be, to be able to get the smallest number of u, the denominator, uh, I'm dividing this, divide by that. However, um, the logic here is this. As I'm dividing this figure, divide that by that figure, as I'm dividing these two, the bigger this figure, the smaller the answer I get. 
if this becomes smaller and smaller and smaller while this one is remaining constant if this becomes smaller and smaller and smaller it means i'll be getting a bigger and bigger and bigger answer however if this figure is constant and this new denominator becomes bigger and bigger and bigger the bigger this denominator becomes then the smaller my answer will be you could go and try it out with a fraction or we could even try it out now if i am having 10 over 2 10 over 2 is equal to 5. if i increase this denominator to a higher number i say 10 over 4 the answer i'm going to get is 2.5 if i continue and say what is 10 over 6 i'm going to end up with 1.66 from this simple illustration, what you're able to see is that as I keep increasing the denominator, I mean, when, as I keep increasing the denominator, my answer here becomes smaller and smaller. The bigger the denominator, the smaller the answer I get. So it's the same logic we are looking using here. That if the question says they want us to find the least speed, in other words, if I am to get the least value of u here, it means as far as this expression is concerned, my numerator has to be at its maximum, the biggest possible numerator. Now, as far as this goes here, we have sine 2 theta. That is what is in our numerator. And the maximum value of sine 2 theta is 1. Again, how am I able to find one? These are details in the topic called trigonometry. By the time you are doing this topic, the one of the prerequisites is that you must have covered trigonometry in your class. On this channel, trigonometry, the topic is yet to be covered. So this means that u squared here is going to become g times r divide that by this is equal to one that's the maximum value of sine two theta it is one that is coming from trigonometrical theories i will not go deep into those details for now but if you want me to explain that let me know in the comment section below so meaning that we'll go ahead and find our value of u instead so moving on with our calculations our u squared is giving us g, which is 9.81. Multiply that by the value of r, the range. In this case, the range we got was 22069. Remember, the question is telling us to find the max, the minimum, the, the least possible value of u to attain the same range. So this is 9.81. Multiply that by 2. And so that's the answer right there. So with that, we've been able to answer that question. In our upcoming session, we get to do another worked example on projectile motion. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not yet subscribed. Check out other videos on the channel. Remember to share this with your friends. My name is Arnold Rangakuramia, and this is Kisembo Academy. Take care. <music>